Kia ora Tiger, I'm Roger. I'm James. And welcome to the OUSA Executive Recap, where we're coming to you from the OUSA main office reception. And we'll be talking about what happened at the last exec meeting, as well as what OUSA is doing in the next week, in three minutes or less, starting now. What a week it has been. Uh, first off, thank you very much everyone who turned up to the student journal meeting on Thursday. Um, we had about 120 students in attendance, yep. which is fantastic to see. Um, we're really keen to take this engagement, build on it, grow it, and see it getting better and better in the future. Right now, Roger and I are going to run through, run through what happened though at the SGM. The motion to raise the OUSA exec honorarium passed, and the motion to back pay the OUSA exec also passed based on the rate of the previous motion. Uh, so the motion of no confidence in postgraduate officer Kira Burks failed to pass. On top of this, in general business of the meeting, we yep. covered OUSA support for the protest uh, on Friday, which by the time this video is posted would have finished. Um, I read, a, read out a statement from the Vice Chancellor around the whole cricket critic debacle. Laura from the students who will be leading the protest on Friday spoke briefly about the reasons and some of the information behind the march, and another student talked about student opinion, and James over here talked about student engagement and the potential to build and grow on the, based on the turnout of the student general meeting. Wow! What, what a meeting. meeting! Oh my god, that was not, that was not planned. Um, we'd also like to address the elephant in the room. Uh, early this week, 500 copies of Critic were removed by Campus Watch staff. Uh, I mean, it goes without saying, but we are in full support of Critic and the students protesting this on Friday. Exams are around, right at the corner. That didn't make sense, but I'm um, I've got you guys covered uh, with free breakfast, free fruit, free sauna sessions, free squash, free glow yoga, free lunchtime yoga, free distress station, and four dollar harder Krishna dinners. Well, where can I find more information on this, Roger? I don't know, James. Where can you find more information at the that? OUSA website at ousa.org.nz? So, a wee reminder, guys, to look after your mates and yourself because it can be a bloody stressful time out there. Um, so, if you guys have any lecturers, lab demonstrators, tutors, or a teacher uh, with top tier disability and awareness teaching, well, nominations are still open for the OUSA. Teaching Awards and close on June the 1st, so get in quick. Um, we'll chuck a link in the description of this video to that. Now, onto the meeting, the exec went through the recent results of the referendum that just happened and looked at how the exec are going to be acting on each of them. A link to the results will be in the description down below, but if you're curious about what the exec are actually going to be doing about each question, feel free to flick me an email at campaigns at ousa.org.nz or you can check us out right here at the OUSA main office. Um, this week the exec officially supported the student voice led protest uh, which was held at Friday the 25th of May at 12pm. Um, we made a, a Facebook group for them to help support, um, sorry a Facebook page to help support the, uh, the get the protest out there yep. um, and we outlined our reasons for doing that briefly in the description so check that out if you want. Yeah, we formally uh, noted what the exec will be doing at the graduation ceremony and such as like carrying lace, banners and sitting on stage and whatnot. Uh, the exec officially supported Finn Shaw to be the NZ USA Vice President, uh, moving that the OUSA executive endorse and give all votes to, uh, to Finn Shaw for the Vice President position in the NZ USA elections. We appointed Monique Mulholland to Norhans College's committee. Uh, we, accept we accepted Abby's reports to the Health and University Advisory Group and Equity Advisory Group. We accepted CEO Debbie Downs' April report and KPIs. And we accepted and received uh, CAMS Policy Committee and Election Review Committee minutes. Josh's Grants Panel Committee minutes. And that's it. Done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, th thank you very much everyone who commented on last week's video. Congratulations, uh, congratulations to Jack, Jack Manning. Well done Jack. <laughs> Good on you mate. You can pick up your bag right here at the OUSA main office. What a deal. How great is that? Good chance for you. That's you. Yes you. To win yourself a bag of chocolate yourself. <laughs> Just chuck a yourself. comment um, with a question down below. Yeah, ask, ask us anything, ask away. Um, but also, speaking of questions, um, if you've got <laughs> any questions about anything we've talked about this week, feel free to hit us on the street, guys. Check us out at the OUSA main office. That's right here where we are. Um, you can add us on Snapchat at OUSA exec as well. Or email Mr. Roger here at campaigns at OUSA.org.nz. Mr. James at education at OUSA.org.nz. Or you can email our president directly at president at OUSA.org.nz. The point of these videos is to give you guys a brief update on what we've been up to as well as what happening, what's happening next week at OUSA. So, yeah. yeah. Cheers for sticking around for the last 12 weeks. See, See you guys. See you guys. See you. Have a good exam. Exam time. Exam you know what? If you're still watching, massive shout outs to you. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for staying around, team. So, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Appreciate you and your engagement.